as a student of history, um, there's something we need to know. Before the British came to Nigeria, the Yorubas were already there. And what the British used was what we call divide and rule. And there's what we call um, a treaty. When they came, they, could, they couldn't come in, into Lagos. But they had to use what we call um, gunboat diplomacy. It's, it's called gunboat diplomacy for the Oba in Lagos. But the Portuguese were traders. Because Europe was the large continent and people were not buying what they produced anymore. So they were lo looking for ready-made mar markets to sell their products. So while looking for markets to sell their products, that is where the Portuguese discovered um, Lagos. People were staying there. They saw people staying there, the robbers. But the, the Portuguese, um, they don't have power to succumb the British. When the British came, they took over, over Lagos from them. And that is when we have the Berlin Conference of 1886, which, which, which was presided by Otton von Bismarck. They gave Lagos to the British because the Portuguese were powerless. And when the British came into Lagos, they had to use what we call gumbo diplomacy. They asked the upper of Lagos, this is your land, give it to us, unless we'll kill you. That is what they used to conquer Lagos. And Oba Dosumu signed that treaty based on threats that if you don't give us, look at gone, choose gone or choose your life. So he, he has to sign that. The, the Dosumu family now, not something reputable in, in the Yoruba lineage because the had they did. They were also selling, but it was not the fault of that king because they threatened him during that time. So that is what we need to understand. Even this British. They came into the eastern part, but they couldn't conquer the Igbos like that. They couldn't introduce indirect rule into the Igbos, but they were able to introduce what we call indirect rule system into the western part of Nigeria. What they practiced in the eastern part was direct rule. It was not indirect rule, but what they practiced in the northern and the western part of Nigeria was indirect. And this simply means ruling you through your leaders. So this is what we need to know when we are arguing, oh, that Lagos is nobody's... We need to know Lagos belongs to Yoruba people.